so there's our new round rug Salem approved and the pillow cover that I stuffed with fiber fill it has sequins to match the tablecloth and this has a little hint of gray and if you're seeing it hopefully the boys will stay away from the chair there it is oh it's a big thunder and it's raining harder and poor poor little magic out here so i'm keeping him company he's staying dry that's why he's out front so i don't have an awning or anything in the back oh poor baby Come on, Rudy, keep him company. He's scared. Don't be scared, sweetie. He could have been living inside, but he wouldn't let us trap him. If he would have let us trap him last week, he would have seen the vet. He wouldn't have been itchy, and he would have been cozy in the house. But he wouldn't, no matter what we did. Right? Oh, no. Okay. There he is. We had a bad, bad thunderstorm last night with lots of lightning and rain and everything was wet. He has a cobweb on his head. I don't know where he was. It's been on his head all morning. His tote was too soaked. I had to dry it and clean off his favorite chair. So he might have either gone under the shed. He goes right in the there and then goes under there. Here he is. He's back. Let me, let me zoom out. Oh, you poor oh, I hear someone in the litter box. I just cleaned the litter box. So what are you doing there, young man? Mama just cleaned that. And now I gotta sweep up all the cat litter. Look, it's everywhere. Oh, there's a poop. There's a poop. Oop. <laughs> All right, I'll 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 clean it. He's been pooping in increments this morning. So, as you can see, our kitchen got done by the last one. And the only thing I have to do... So, the kitchen's done all the way down there. Right here, everything's done. The only thing I have to do is retouch the paint and then paint inside there and put some contact paper. But really, my I didn't get much sleep, and when I my neck hurts, and I'm in no mood to do it today. Um, it's dark and dreary, rain as usual. So in here, we have to put our new floor down because it's all, I don't know if you can see, but see it's all peely and bubbly. It's gonna look nice, right, Magic? And our new couch should be here. I don't know. They said we're first online when it comes in. It's going to be a black couch. What we have now is a red couch. So here's a picture of what the couch looks like normally. But we threw this cover. But it's an old eight-year-old eight couch. And my husband's disabled, so he needs a better cushion on his back. And the other couch is shorter, but it comes with a chase for my husband. Um, we bought this chair so that we'd have somebody, uh, you know, a chair for somebody extra if they came over. So, I just like, I'm sorry if I move my camera around a lot, you know. I only notice it when I go to edit, and I'm like, oh boy, I'm, I'm making everybody dizzy. <laughs> Magic is, so it's another day, it's Monday. It's a beautiful day, and I wanted to lay out in the sun, but unfortunately, I have to go out. And Magic is laying on the patio. He seems to do better with his itching now. Um, I still have to get that stuff. It's on its way. And I'll let you know how it works and I'll show it to you. It's an all-natural, chewable, you can break it up in the food or you can give it to them. It's non-toxic, everything is organic and comes from nature. Uh, 
and it's a way to it, you have to give it for 30 days and it builds up in their system to repel ticks fleas and mosquitoes while they're out there so uh and the company was nice enough when I commented saying, I ordered it, it says, oh, please give us an update and you get a full guarantee money back after 60 days if it doesn't work. And they definitely want my feedback, they said. So that's really nice. So I said I would. The company's out of Carson, California. I forgot the name, but I'll show it to you. Um, so it's beautiful out. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And I want to get out of the house because <laughs> it's been raining so the kitchen is finally finished the only thing is I haven't gotten a chance to paint where a Salem scratched or underneath the cabinet just some touch-ups but other than that it's all finished um, and I'm happy if you have any questions about peel and stick countertops or peel and stick backsplash let me know because I have to say that it is very, very easy to do, and it looks good. So if you're on a budget and you want a nice kitchen but you can't afford new countertops and stuff, and a backsplash, if I wish they would have had this stuff out sooner, because when I lived in my old house in Florida, I hated the countertops. They were just white for mica. And the tiles were this brown and white regular tiles with grout. And I painted my counters, but even though I sealed it, it kept wearing off and I had to keep painting it. And I really wish they had this stuff. Um, so it is waterproof. So now it is heat resistant up to a point. So I use these glass. I bought them. They came four to a package of these glass hot plates and I put them next to the stove over here so if you have anything hot you should put it on here on these little plates so you should definitely get little hot plates I got these little glass ones on Amazon I didn't want ones you can notice I wanted it to blend in with the counter Thank you. 